go. First one, I've set the, the master timer away, excuse me. And it doesn't want, oh, it's away, good. Right, here we go to moving on the spot. Just moving those feet. I hope you can see me okay. And a little kick. So we're going to go through the warm-up before the circuit. Into the circuit twice. Little knee lift. Maybe a half knee lift to start. Make sure you've had some breakfast. Switching to a hamstring curl, that's heels to the back. If that doesn't suit, little tap back. Comfortably upright body, regular breathing. Back to that knee lift, maybe bring an arm in now. Hello. Swim it through though. You want a little bit more? A little bit higher, swim it through. You want to make it easier, lower on. Easy kick to the front. Bring the hands in. Opposite kick to opposite punch. Regular breathing. I forgot to say, we will need our tins and weights as well. Don't worry, I'll give you a minute, a few seconds or so to get those when we'll start the circuit. Peel dig, double curl. Side step. Like a half jack, side and back, side and back. Easy push, pull from the hip. Moving up, mid body. Breathing should be just on the catch a little bit now. High position or the highest comfortable shoulder, chest height. Find your spot that you like and work it there. Work from that point. Three, two, one. Touch the feet in. And forward arms. Shoulders nicely warmed up. And scissors. Work at your own pace, lower the arms if you need to. If you're on the chair, it'll be exactly the same. Side to side, a little bit of arm movement. And march it. High knees, or higher knees. Strong arms for ten. One. And two. And three. And four. And five. Keep it going if you want. And six, if you wish. Seven, just an easy jog. Eight. Remember this is impact. Nine. Ten. March it off. Impact's good for strengthening bones and muscles up to a point. But take the impact out if you have you know, any kind of joint problems. Tap your head. Forward arm. About halfway through the warm up, just over two thirds of the way. Three, two, one. And march. We're going to do an eight. You can either march it in or jog it in for eight. And three, two, one, let's go. One, and two, and three, or four. You could be marching it. Five, six, keep it up, slow down if you need to, keep it up if you can. Seven, and eight, march out. Right arm across, easy stretch. Relax and shake. One, two, bring it in. Relax the shoulder being stretched. Regular breathing. Shake them out. Wrists in, turn. Up 
opposite. So we're circling the wrist, one wrist circles the other. And again, the other way. Shake it down. March it up again. This time for six, or you can jog it up. Off we go, one, two, three, or four, five, six, and regular march. Heel dig. Big hook, switch to a toe tap, stretch from the chest. Walking on the spot, hands above the head, pushing back over. Do not hold the breath when the hands are above the head and keep the feet on the move when the hands are above the head. And relax, straight into your back, chest out, heels in. Three, two, one, regular walk. Into a squat position, wider, 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 wider. Turn one foot out, drop your weight into the centre, feel a stretch on the inside, double arm curl, keep the body moving. A few seconds, two, one, relax. Hands on the hips, neutral position, switch to the other side. Weights in the centre, hips are in, double arm curl. Three, two, one, centre position, heels in, toes, heels, toes, hips left and right, left and right, circle, and a circle, and a circle, opposite direction, circle, 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 find the position where you can put your heel on the floor, toe towards you, bum and hips away, lean in, upright row, one more, kick out, switch sides, catch the heel, Hips and bum away, chin up high, lateral raise, arms to the sides in other words. One more, kick away. Last one before we start, relax down and turn. So grab your tins if you can, team, or two small dumbbells. First exercise, 45 seconds, side steps with punches. Keep on the move. Give you just a few seconds. Grab your tins. Three, two, one, go. You can be running on the spot very gently, as I mentioned. Watch for the impact. Just a little short punch in the front. You can travel a little bit. Either way, just be careful of objects. Be sure of your footwork, or you can be on the spot. I like a little rhythm in this. Keep going. 25 seconds gone. Keep working 45. Keep it up. Breathing. Focus on that breathing. 10 seconds, everyone. During the transition, you can keep going by keeping the feet moving, or you can just take a little breather at that point. Three, two, one, and here's your change. Good. Keep moving if you wish. Grab a quick drink. Next movement. Upright row and sidestep. Grab your weights if you need them this time. Three, two, one, off we go. Here's your upright row. Here's your sidestep. Elbows lead the way. My technique looks slightly wrong in the visual, but see if it looks better from here. Yeah. I'm gonna show you I'm doing it correct, it just doesn't sometimes look right on the screen. Keep going, team. If you've got the room, you can put a one, two, one, two, one, two. If you prefer this to be on the spot, you could just march it if you don't like side steps. Ooh, five seconds. Work hard, team. Three, two, one. Transition. Drink if you need it. Next movement sit the stand if you're using the chair. Squat the hands above the head if you're not. I'll show you what I mean. Three, two, one, get ready for your squat position or sit the stand position. And here we go. One squat, one clap above. One, two, one, two. Different angle. One, two, one, two. I wouldn't use weights above the head, team. Three. If you want to use them to the shoulders, it could be one squat, one shoulder. One squat, one shoulder. One squat, one shoulder. 
one squat, one shoulder, or squat and clap, squat and clap. Quite a tough movement, five seconds. Whether you're working with or without weights, it's a toughie and relax. Drink, feet on the move if you want to. Oh, got my breath. Next movement, bicep curl with a heel dig, double arm, take your weights for this one, team. Three, two, one, let's go. So set your heel dig away and a curl. If you want a single, that's fine. But if you want to double it up, you can have thumb on the top, like a hammer curl, or you can have palm up like a bicep curl. I'm not sure if you can see that clearly. Both are very good. You could even have hands around, good grip, reverse. That's more for your forearm. Hammer curl. Five seconds, bicep curl. All of these can be done absolutely fine on the chair. Three, two, one. Time, keep the feet moving if you wish to continue. Grab a drink and a little slow down if you need to. Next movement, front raise. Tap the foot back behind. You can use your weight for this. Three, two, one. Time away, team. Set the tap back. Single. Pushing that leg a bit further. But keep it comfortable. But if you're short, and you want to start warming it, if you've started warming in, warming in, then you can push back. If you want a bit more, double. You can move on the spot like I'm doing. This is more to give a visual, but sometimes people don't like to be absolutely static, so it's okay to move around. That's to the coordination, actually. It's good. Five seconds. Two, one, and stop. Excellent, team. Get a drink. Use the towel if you need it. Feet on the move. Next movement, knee lifts. Simple knee lift. You probably won't need your weights for this. We're going to play with singles, doubles, and triples. Ready, team? Three, two, one. From the march, low knee. Medium knee. As in the arms. Big swim, high. Now that can be quite tough. Back to medium. Back to low with the knee touch. Pick a side, double in now. One, two, and a double. Two, and a triple. Three, just do double, stick with the number one, two, three. Back to a double. And a double. And a single. Put one more double in on each side. Go. One, two, and again. One, two. Single, single, single. March it out. Good. Excellent. Nelly there for the first circuit team. Chest press, side step. You can take your weights. You can take two weights or sometimes take one and hold it centrally with one hand. Three. Oop, sorry, excuse me. Three, two, one, go. So if you've got two, I'm pushing straight forward for chest. This time it's a step touch. Different side step from before. The foot's coming in touching and you're pressing. If you want one weight, some people prefer to hold them when you're working with a kettlebell. Remember you can still orient different in the room and move a little. Have fun. Keep going. 10 seconds, team. If you want to drop it to tummy height, it makes it a little easier. Chest height's the ideal, or the one we're kind of aiming for. Last five, four, three, two, one. Nice one, everyone. Grab a drink. Keep those feet on the move. First circuit nearly done. I've lost the screen. Lost all my timers, so luckily I've got a few. So, hamstring curl with the tap back, arms to the front for the next one. Three, two, one. You can't take a single weight or a double weight. Three, two, one. Top back. Single. 
Double arm. Can do these perfectly on the chair. Obviously, you can't tap the foot back quite as much. Change again now for hamstring. That's a bit more intense. Can be hamstring double arm, hamstring single arm. All the tap backs. Hamstring is probably the more intense. 10 seconds, team. If you're with it, good job. If you need to slow down a bit, still a good job. Oh, now you're there. We're going past three, two, one, and relax. Same transition, and we're going to do it all again. So, feet on the move once you've had a towel and you've had a drink. First one, side steps with punches. Three, two, one, let's go to you. Side steps with punches. You can have your weights if you want. Or you could just be this type of rhythm. Or this type of rhythm. Just keep them short, chest height, and just push them back and forward. Doesn't have to be a professional boxer's punch, it's just an exercise type of movement. Whoops, I said, what am I doing? Excuse me, team. It's all good movement. It all keeps you fit. Three, two, one, and relax. Keep it on the move. Getting a drink. Wipe them down with a towel if you need to. Upright row, you can do these in the chair. Here we go, team. One weight or two. So you can have one weight centrally. Here's your upright row. Marching. For those who want to just spice it up a little. Remember, you can have high impact, which tends to hit the joints and muscles and bones. And you can have high intensity, which is basically working you out, but it's a bit more gentle on the body. However, I'm going to have to guess this one. I thought I switched it up. However, a little bit of impact can be good for the body with a soft, you know, underflooring because it actually strengthens the muscles and bones as well. So we need that little bit of gravity. Five seconds. I'm going to guess this one. Three, two, and one. Excellent, team. Drink. Breather if you need it. Towel if you need it. Sit the stand or squat this time. We're going to do a ski sit. We're going to vary it. As the bum and hips go back, the arms go forward. If you're on the chair, sit the stand, bring the arms forward. Three, two, one. Here we go. What am I talking about? That. And back. Bum back, hands forward. Hands back, hips forward. You can, if you really want to be, you can have a little weight. And it will multiply it quite a bit. Or you can have your chin, keep going, team. Or you could have two. But a lot of people would find the body weight. It's quite sufficient. Ten seconds. See if you can. Work with me. One, two. Come on, team. Three, four. Come on, team. Five, six. Good job. Keep on the move. That got me. I hope it got you. And that in the nicest possible way. Keep on the move, team. Bicep curl, heel dig to the front, double weights if you want this time for definite. Three, two, one, go team. Here's your heel dig. Here's your single curl. Here's your double. Thumbs on the top, hammer curl. Fairly fixed elbow position. Palms up, bicep curl. Those of you are a bit braver, turn it over, unhook the thumb but keep the fingers gripped, reverse curl. They're all good. Ten seconds back to hammer curl for me. Hammer curls are just about my general one when I do exercise type movement with music type, you know, type of music in the back there, uh, type of thing in the background. Three, two, one, and stop. Drink, towel. Breather. Next one, front raise, tap back, 
three, two, one. You can have one or two weights. I'll use one today. Here we go. So we're tapping back. And a race to the front. If your weight's got some, you know, if it's fairly substantial, watch the momentum doesn't run away. Make sure it's under control. Don't be firing it round. It'll might overstretch you. Keep a good posture. Keep a little bit of tension in your core. That's what protects your lower back. Remember, you can orient different in the room if you just like to move around a bit. Keep it going. Oh, a little bit pommy today. I went for a run this morning. I'm a little bit blocked up. Three, two, one, and relax. Still keep it on the move. Good job if you're still here, everyone. Keep those feet. Usual, drink, towel, take a breather if you need to. Next one, we're going to play with some knee lifts. Very straightforward. I don't recommend you use a weight for this one, to you. Three, two, one, time away. Single. I'm not going to say too much about the arms. I'm going to let you soup those themselves. Bring a double. And a double. And a triple. One, two, three. And a triple. Another triple. And another. And a double. And a double. And a single. And a big swim. Big swim. It's tougher than it looks that one. Keep it going five seconds. Big swim. Fit a double in each side. One, two, and one more. One, two, and relax. Excellent. Keep on moving, team. Good job if you did that and managed to keep with the change there. Little bonus change in the middle. Okay, team. Chest press, side steps. You can have one weight, two weights. Weights. I usually recommend one, but I usually prefer the feel of just holding one. So when we're ready, weights or tins. Three, two, one. Single side step with a chest press. Can be tummy head. Can be bottom of the ribs, mid body, mid torso, or quite high. If you find a comfortable one, there's a sweet spot, the one that suits you best. Or can be uh, or a single. Or a mixture. One and two. One and two. Or a single. And a little angle. You can have them absolutely forward, but a little angle. A little turn of the waist can be brought in as well. Last one and relax. Excellent team. Hamstring curls, weights, single weight, double weight. You're comfortable, very comfortable with two weights this one, so you shouldn't have a problem. Curling or tapping back. Three, two, one. There's your tap back. There's your single curl. There's your leg curl coming in. There's your double arm. Can be hammer curl, usually suits this position very well, but bicep curl does as well. Remember, if you're going to use reverse curl, you need a good grip because it's minus the thumb. When you turn it over, you pop your thumb out. So make sure your fingers have got the strength because it can fall through your fingers, the weight. Not, it's not dangerous if you take those precautions. Last five. Work it hard, team. Three, two, one, and relax. Quickly get yourself a drink. Towel if you need it. You're going to have to excuse me. Oh, I've got a towel. Sorry. Excuse me. Definitely pollen in the air today. Okay, everyone, let me just set my timer. I want to go into the cool down. Oh, so I hope you enjoyed that. Keep on the move, everyone. Big circles. Breathe first. Opposite direction and breathe. And relax as we walk along. Hands in, chest down. Just heel dig. Just bringing it down now. Not too fast. We don't want to take the system up again, but we don't want to stop too abruptly. 
to Tutley Cook. Relax, hands come in, same ones we started. Just loosen those joints, free those pathways as Wendy will tell you more about that, but just relaxing the joints, just opening them up. Give them a little, and Wendy's our Tai Chi teacher, so she'll uh, explain a little bit more about the pathway. Generally open up those joints. Feet shoulder width, hips left and right. Should be slowing down the breathing now. Should be in through the nose, out through the mouth initially. Circle. And in time, doesn't suit everyone, you'll be able to use nasal breathing throughout. Change. Then you can usually take a long steady breath and usually your, your breathing rate slows down. So in other words, you start finding things a little bit easier. So we'll move a bit more. Bring one hand across. You can do all these on the chair, of course. And relax. Other arm straight out. I bring it across. I relax the shoulder. So it's on that kind of angle. Okay. And relax. Shake it out. I'd like you to take a big step to the side. So kind of like step with plus a half maybe. Turn one foot out and drop in. Hips forward. Just roll the shoulders. Roll the shoulders forward. And relax. Neutral position. Turn to the other side. Drop in. Hips forward. Just easy with the arms now. Easy. Just let the arms float. And relax. Back to the neutral. Heel to it. Couple more hip circles. Opposite hip circle. So what we're going to do is we're going to step to, this is, it might look right to you, but this is my left and this, I'm going to step and stretch. Just a stretch for the spine and breathe, heads up, breathe and relax and back. Step off to the opposite angle. And back. Step off directly forward. Stretch. And the last one, opposite leg and stretch and bend. But I'm going to turn so you can see it. I'm going to stretch and bend. Breathing, of course, and relaxing down. Another shoulder roll, another shoulder. Catch your heel, bum back. Squeeze the hands now and relax. Squeeze and relax. Kick it out. Catch the heel. We're literally nearly there. A few seconds, team. Sit back. Squeeze. Squeeze. Shake everything out. With me, team. Breathe in, steady breath out. If you can do it through the nose, in and out, that's great. If you need to use in for the nose and out for the mouth, that's good as well. And one more. Follow the breath out. And relax. So there we have it for the circuit today. Um, Matty's away for a little while, so I'll probably be guest instructor for a while or indefinitely anyway.